Well, I uh, didn't think I was going musky fishing yesterday, but I in fact apparently did, and I caught myself. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. And I'm going to insert a photo here, a little bit graphic, not terrible. So if you don't like the sight of a little blood, you might want to turn away. So yeah, so I put this hog wobbler, and you can see that's not a small bait, in my pointer finger yesterday. I was uh, trying to grab some of those boxes off the top shelf up there. And when I brought my hand down with a box, I somehow, I, I really don't even know how I did this. I somehow managed to catch the front treble hook of this bait. And the only thing I can figure is when I brought the box down, maybe the box caught the bait and then that pulled the, the lure into my hand. But all I know is I was bringing the box down and I went like this, this hand kept going, this hand stopped, the box fell, and as you saw in the picture, the hook was buried in my finger. So had I been running a camera, or had I filmed the hook removal, I could have shown you the whole process. I did not do that, I was not thinking in, in uh, correct terms, or at least thinking of you guys, I was thinking about uh, getting the hook out of my finger. And my wife, Sarah, was here, and she was absolutely really no help at all in terms of removing the hook, but she was very good in getting me some things to help with the hook. And uh, so what I wanted to do in this video was kind of give you a quick rundown as to how to remove a hook. You know, it's happened to me uh, three times specifically in myself. I've been around when other people have gotten hooks stuck in themselves, but uh, it's it's really like as gruesome as like that photo can look it really like the hook going in never hurts the hook coming out can definitely hurt and in this instance uh, I was not able to do the simple hook removal trick and what I mean by that simple hook removal trick is this and I've got a sweet potato here and I'll show you what I mean so when a hook is just kind of straight buried in past the barb say like that you know, you, you can easily remove that by taking some heavy braided line, and I'm sure a lot of us have all seen this, take some heavy braided line, and I actually like to wrap it multiple times around that hook shank, just to make sure that like the braided line doesn't break. And if I can get it around the... So you just wrap it around twice, you get it around the hook shank. And what you want to do is you want to take a finger and hold down the eye. You want to apply pressure. And then whoever you're having, whoever's pulling, what I recommend doing is not just wrapping like the braided line around their hand because that can easily slip. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is to actually tie it to, uh, to anything. A stick, you know, uh, uh, anything that you can tie it to that allows you to hold it better and not have that line, you know, slippage is the key. And then at that point, they just want to give a quick jerk. And by quick jerk, I mean the faster and harder, the better. And when you apply that pressure, that downward pressure to the eye, it's going to, it's going to naturally kind of let the barb want. So if it's in like that, when you put your finger down, it's going to kind of have that barb try to push down and it's not going to catch as much so when you apply that pressure it'll it'll pop out fairly easily that's the easiest way to remove a hook it's not always the case you know depending on how the hook's in and like the one i had yesterday i couldn't do that trick because the hook was actually in and then curved and like the point was barely coming out let's see if i can get it so it was it looked like that let's see if we can get that so you can see the, the point is just barely sticking out and it's almost like in and curved and my skin was actually like around the hook shank a little. So there was no way if I applied pressure here, it would just like coil my skin with it. And I was too afraid that I would not, you know, it was in probably three quarters of an inch and I was too afraid that I wouldn't be able to get a good pull on it because every every way I bent it, my skin would like bend with the barb and it was already caught in there good. 
So in that case, what you have to do, or what I think is the best thing to do, is since you've already got the tip already coming out a little bit, like that, you want to just try to continue to get it to come out to the point where that barb is, is sticking out, and then you can actually take a pair of take a pair of hook cutters and you get around that and you cut under the barb and then at that point you can easily just you know you cut the barb off you can just pull the shank right out in my case again because of the way it was in like in and then curled with just a little bit of the the, the tip coming out you know like that uh I couldn't, I could not physically push it through. I kept trying to do that. You know, I, it's, it's amazing how difficult it is to push the hook through the skin. Uh, and I was, I was applying like downward pressure on the sides and I just couldn't, I couldn't get it to come up anymore because it was so buried down to the, down to the, the round part of the hook. So what I ended up having to do was I took a, a buck knife that I have that I got from a forest wood cup that I qualified for and I literally had to slice my skin a little bit just like down the shank so that I could get to the point where the barb was out and then once the barb was out then I could rotate it like like so minus the sweet potato and once I could rotate it like that I was able then to, to get under the barb and cut the barb off back the hook out it was definitely a little bit more of a procedure than i normally would have to do uh but really those are those are your options if you want to remove it yourself or without going to the the hospital and the hospital is going to do basically the same thing they're gonna they might give you a little bit of uh you know painkiller or a, a centralized um uh, numbing agent but it's not, it's not going to be really any different. If I had gone to the hospital yesterday, they would have gotten out a scalpel and sliced just a little bit just to get to the point where they, they could get the barb out and then we'd cut the barb off. So it would have been the same process. It, uh, you know, I, it, it is, it's part of the game is how I look at it. Like my wife was really surprised with how well I handled it. And it's because it's happened to me before. It was not a life or death situation. And I just needed to get the hook out. And if that meant I had to take a nice sharp knife and, you know, cut my skin a quarter inch down the hook shank, I can, I can handle that. It wasn't the, the world's worst thing. And one of the biggest keys to it all is to remain calm. It's, you know, like I said, it's not a life or death situation. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. It hurt a lot more coming out than going in. Um, but you know, the, it, it, it is what it is. You got to deal with it. And, you know, the majority of the time we're not dealing with giant two or three odd treble hooks like this was and that I put in my hand with these giant barbs. You're dealing with a smaller bass bait or, uh, you know, just a, a simpler hook. And um, it's just something you got to deal with. I just wanted the, the, to tell you guys about it and to give you, you know, the, the options that you have at that point. You know, you don't always, the, the one option that we always hear people talk about is tie the braided line, push down in the eye and just pop it out. You can't always do that. And that's where you have to be aware of the other options. And sometimes you have to push it through a little bit. And that, you know, is hurts and is painful, but that's the reality. And that's what I had to do. So hopefully, guys, you don't have to deal with this, but, you know, it's kind of part of the game, in my opinion. It's uh, happened to me before. It'll happen to me again. You can you can be as careful as you want to be on the water, and you never know when it's going to happen. In this case, it happened in my tackle room, of all places. And I wasn't even playing with, you know, tackle. I, I just I lost, the, lost where I was at and didn't realize I had a bunch of hooks around me, I guess. And I paid for it, but... Uh, not the world's worst thing. Anyways, just wanted to, to give you guys a little info on that. Hopefully that helps. Like I said, hopefully you don't have to use it. But if you do need to use it, now you know how to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be more careful next time.